a pendulum takes the same amount of time to complete a swing, no matter how wide you swing it. And this seems very counterintuitive. Yeah, because it thinks as you... That makes sense. Because the speed changes. Yes. So if the speed changes... Because what happens is, the higher up I bring it, right. the, the, the more it falls right. before it gets to the bottom. Exactly. So it's the same amount of time. Exactly. It's just the covering same. more distance in that time. Because it's moving because faster. Because the speed's faster. Correct. Look at that. Now, do you know who first realized this? No, I do not. Galileo. Being bored in church in a hot summer day, the windows are open. The wind was blowing and the chandelier was swaying. Hmm. And he noticed that no matter how fast the wind blew and how much it swung, it took the same, same amount, amount of, time. of time to go to and fro. And you know how he measured the time? No. With his pulse. See, look at that. Look, put your finger right there and you got bump, bump, bump. Now you look at the swing. Bump, and, and, bump, and it was the bump, same each time. And it's the same each time. So he didn't invent the pendulum clock, but he discovered the fact that the pendulum. pendulum by the way, if the pendulum, if you pull the pendulum too far out, then there are non-linear effects that will influence it. So we're talking about the linear mode of a pendulum is within a range, okay? okay? Yeah. You should bring it up here. That's yeah, not now gonna that's going to work. Then it's, yeah, then it's, yeah, yeah, then. Yeah, right. yeah. You can figure that. If you can calculate that. Anyhow, Galileo didn't invent a pendulum clock, but mm -hmm. he discovered the fact that a pendulum, no matter how wide its arc, will keep the same time. So if you're going to make a reliable clock right. with something that doesn't vary, put a pendulum in it. Anytime you see something swaying back and forth, there's a restoring force that gets greater the farther the thing goes away. That's dope. It's totally dope. That is amazing. I love it. And this is basic physics. It's not your first week of physics. It's physics in real life. It's great.